Hi friends and welcome to the second Christmas Marathon tutorial. We officially kickstarted this Christmas Marathon last week where every week I'll be releasing one Christmas tutorial for you to pin along and this will run until December. If you haven't already, do check out last week's Christmas tutorial where we painted this lamppost on a winter night and I'll have the link to it on the top right of your screen. Before we dive right in, I'm thrilled to introduce to you a new YouTube membership option. By clicking on the join button right here, you can unlock a world of exclusive benefits. There are three membership tiers to choose from which gives different levels of access. Once you're a member, you get immediate access to over 20 tutorials such as behind the scenes videos, digital downloads, discounted merchandise and many more coming your way. If you have enjoyed my YouTube video so far and you'd like to learn more or get more creative painting ideas and painting tutorials from me, this is the place for you. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so let's go back into our Christmas Marathon tutorial. As for today, we'll be doing a switch to painting daytime winter scenery. Here, I already have the sketch ready, so feel free to pause right now to follow the pencil sketch. Otherwise, the pencil sketch is available for download on YouTube membership. Starting with the skies, I'm going to prepare Indentrain Blue on my palette. This time, we won't be pre-wetting the paper, but I'll go ahead to just apply the paint straight. So be sure to prepare sufficient paints on your palette. For this painting, you can see that the light will be coming in from the left. So I'll go ahead and apply the blue paints on the top right like so. And then let's add some water into the mixture to dilute it. Bring down the wash downwards and to the left. As I move downwards, I'm leaving some white spaces for the clouds. Then switching over to Naples Yellow, fill in the rest of the areas like so. Using the flat brush, try to blend in some of the yellows into the clouds. Now I'm going to tilt the board around for the paints to flow into one another to create some movement for the skies. Then leaving the board slightly elevated, I'm bringing the yellows all the way down to the bottom of the paper. Let's go back to the clouds. I mix grey using a very light wash of Indian Trim Blue and Brown. Then apply that at the bottom of the clouds for the shadows. Just a tiny bit will do. While doing this, just make sure that this area is still wet so we can get those soft blends out. And then I'm just blending the greys out with a dry brush. Continue to tilt the paper around to give more flow. Once that's done, I'll go ahead and give it a quick dry. 
Now let's move on to paint the snow. I'm re-wetting the bottom area. And then let's get some indentrine blue for the snow. For this, I'm using the same color as the skies. In this painting, I'm going for a more cloudy weather. So we have more shadows at the bottom and on the right, since we have light coming in on the left. And then start pulling the colors over to the left. Using the dry flat brush, I'm blending out these blues to get some soft strokes. Once I'm happy with this, I'm going to leave this area to dry and let's work on our background. I'm preparing some yellow ochre with a mix of burnt umber and then paint in the trees like so. Paint in brush strokes like an upside down V shape for the trees. On the right side of the tree where it's further away from the light source, I'm going to add in some shadows using a very light shade of neutral tint. If you like, I added in some indentrine blue to get in some different hues, then continue to paint in the rest of the trees. I'm adding more colors to the trees with burnt umber. Now before this area dries up, grab anything sharp. Here I'm using the sharp end of my card or you may use a knife or even just your nails. Scratch out some of the tree trunks like so. Let's paint the roof with the same blue. Then a very light shade of neutral tint on the walls. For the trees on the right, let's go for a warmer tone since it's closer to the light. I'm using yellow ochre and burnt umber for the trees. Then with a very light shade of grey, I'm adding in some shorter bushes in front of the house. For 
for the last tree on the left, let's paint in a different type of tree. Gently wet the area with water. Then apply some burnt umber and allow the paints to bloom like so. Then leave it to dry. Let's add some details and shadows for the house. Here I'm using neutral tint. Switching over to a liner brush, add in those branches. Alright, so let's get into the fun part. Grab a brush that has hard bristles like this one and then snap in those white paints for some snow. Try focusing around the darker areas, especially towards the right side of the painting. Let's add in some interesting texture. I'm throwing in larger wet splatters of white paints, like what I'm doing here at the bottom. You're going to need to add more water to get out these larger splatters. And then to finish off, I'm going to add in some details, something like a few footsteps on the snow around there. And I almost forget, let's dab in more white paints on the tree. Use really really thick white paints for this part. We want to give the illusion of some white snow sitting on top of the leaves of the tree. And we are done! So just to give you a quick close-up, this is how it looks. And if you did paint along, do tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see and share your works. And since you've stayed until the end of this video here, I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek of what's coming next. Now here's a small thumbnail sketch that I've done in preparation for the next few videos. We'll be painting this lovely scenery here with some mountains, trees, and also a lake. And then the next one, we will also paint some a simple landscape with trees and of course, lots of snow. And this one will be an interesting one. I haven't filmed this yet. And I like to do a nighttime scenery with a carousel. So this will be a very interesting tutorial to look forward to. And then I have a few more planned and coming up. So do stay tuned. 
Happy painting, guys, and I'll see you in the next coming weeks.